Hey, it's Phil, and in this video, we're going to create a stand store in high level. Now, the first thing we need is to make sure we can collect payments from our future customers. So if you haven't yet got a Stripe or PayPal account, go to stripe.com and go to paypal.com to create free accounts. Then once you have created your accounts, come back to your dashboard, come to payments, and then click on integrations on the far right. This is where you can connect Stripe and PayPal to your high level account. Once you've done that, then we can start building out our stand store. Now in this example, we're going to be selling a digital product in the format of a course. And to set that up, we need to first come to memberships on the left, come to courses and scroll down into products. Now inside of products, you can go ahead and click create product. And this is where you can create your course. If you haven't yet figured out how to create a course, there is a full tutorial in the high level support portal. Just come inside and search how to build courses. And this is going to give you all the information you need. The next step, once you have built out your course is to come back to memberships, hover over courses, and then come down to offers. This is where we can choose the price. So you wanna go and click on create offer. You wanna give this offer a title, something that you're going to remember. So I'm just gonna call this mastery course. And then down below, we select the product that we have just created, which in this case, it is the example course. Then we wanna click on the type and this is going to be the pricing frequency. So is it gonna be one time or recurring? I'm gonna choose one time and put an amount for $297. And that's all you need. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create. So now this is going to be the page that you see and there is only really one thing we need to do on this particular page and that is click on published. We wanna make sure that this offer is live. So go ahead, click on publish, click on save and now our offer is ready to go. So now that we have our offer, it is time to go ahead and build out our stand store template. And to do that, we wanna come on the left to sites. Then we wanna to come to websites. And what we wanna choose now is new website. And then we wanna choose one from the templates. Now there are quite a few pre-made templates we can use. All you need to do is click on the search bar and type in Linktree. And this is going to give us around 20 templates at the moment, probably going to be more in future that you can choose from. So just choose a style that resonates with you. You can customize everything later. So I like this one here, the business one. So I'm going to click on it and I'm gonna click on continue. And this is going to install it into my dashboard. Now this template has been installed. It's time to customize it to your brand's look and feel. I'm not going to go into that on this video, but once you have finished that step, it is time to add in a pop-up, which is going to host our order form to sell our course. To do this, what you wanna do is come to the top, click on pop-up settings, which is going to bring up the pop-up window. Next, you wanna click add row. Then you wanna choose one column. And then inside that column, you wanna click add element. And this is going to bring up the element tab. Simply type in order and choose the one step order form and drag it into your window. Now there is plenty to customize inside of this order form. Me personally, as it is a digital course, I don't usually require things like the shipping info. So I usually hide that, but there is one really important thing to add and it is inside of the general tab. If you scroll right down to the bottom, you can see here sale actions. Once the sale has been completed, you want to redirect the user, usually to either a thank you page or even the course login page. This is where you can add it in here. So once you've completed that, it's time to go ahead and save this page. The last step is to make sure that your button is actually opening the pop-up. And to do that, you just click on the button that you want to use. You can change the name of it. So if I scroll down to the text and I put inside here, enroll in the mastery course and at the bottom here link to make sure it says open pop-up so then the pop-up can trigger so go ahead click on save one more time and now it is time to go to the next step so go ahead click on back and this is going to take us back to our dashboard now our stand store template is looking pretty cool what we want to do now is click on the three dots click on settings and you wanna rename this. For this example, I'm just gonna call this Stand Store Mastery Course. And for the path, you can also change that. So I'll just put here Stand Store. Click on Update Page. So now we have renamed that page in our back office. The next step we wanna do is add in a product to that page. So once again, click on the three dots, go to Products, 
And this time we want to click on add product and inside here on the products tab, click down and choose mastery course. And you want to go ahead and choose the mastery course price in the drop down, And then you want to go and click on save. Now this is ready to rock and roll. Now for a bit of housekeeping, our website is currently still called Linktree Business. So what we can do is come to the settings tab now and we can just go ahead and rename this. I'm just going to call this Stan Store for now and change the path to Stan. Okay, and then go ahead and click on save. And this is just going to be easier to find in the coming steps. So now that we have created our website template, we've created our course and our course offer, it is time to trigger two different automation workflows so that we can first of all grant access to our new customer and second of all, send out a membership email with all of their information. Now to do that, we just come on the left to automation. What you wanna do is come to the right and click on create workflow and we're just going to start from scratch. So click on continue. And this is going to open a fresh automation workflow canvas. Now, the first thing I always do inside of a workflow is rename it. So it is something that I can easily find when I'm looking for it. So I'm going to call this mastery course, right? Stand store. So this lets me know as soon as someone goes through the stand store to get the course, this is the automation they will see. So once we've named it, click on add new trigger. And then what you want to do is type in order inside of the search, look for order form submission, click on that, click on add filters, and then choose select and in funnel website. It's the one we just created. And then you want to find stand store, which is what I named it just before. So go ahead, click on save trigger. Now, every time someone completes the order form, they will be brought through this automation. So of course, naturally the next step is going to be giving them access. So we want to type in here membership and you can see we have membership grant offer. So click on that, click on offer and then choose the offer that you created for your course. Once you've done that, click on save action and then we've actually completed this entire workflow. What you want to do is toggle the publish tab, click on save and this first workflow is ready to rock and roll. So to create the second one, we want to go back to workflows one more time. We want to create one more workflow again. This time it's going to be an email. So once again, start from scratch, click on continue, and this will open the workflow builder. Now this time, what I'm going to name it is once again, mastery course, but it's going to be access email. So this basically means every time someone enrolls, they're going to be sent this email, which we're going to create now. So go ahead and click on add new trigger. This time, what we want to look for is offer access granted, which basically means they have enrolled. And then what we want to do is click on add filter, click on select, click on offer, and then choose the course offer that we have created one more time. So we're selecting that exact one. Then what we want to do is come once again to this little plus. Then the action we want to choose is send email. So click on that. And you can actually create a customized email template using the template builder, which is drag and drop. But for this example, we'll keep it nice and simple. So what we want to do is make sure we first fill out the subject. So I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to click on this little customized tag and choose contact. And I'm going to choose first name. So it's going to populate it with the new user's name. And then I'm going to say you're in. And then down below, I'm going to create just a really simple email. So, hey, once again, custom value, choose contact, first name, and then I'll click comma, go down a little bit, and I'll say congratulations for getting started with, and then I'm going to go to custom values one more time, come down to membership contact, I'm just going to move my face here, membership contact, and choose offer title. So this is going to populate with your course's title that you've added for the offer, and then down below, I'm going to say to, I'll just move my Face to access the course, you can log in here. Once again, custom values, membership contact, and this time you want to choose login URL, right? And then just a little sign off. I'm going to say here, let me know if you have any questions, comma, and then just going to add in here custom values, user, and I'm just going to put first name. So this is going to be the person creating this email. Now, once again, that is everything. We just need to make sure we hit publish, click on save, and then 
we're good to go. So that is it. That's the entire setup to create your own stand store inside of high level. It took less than 10 minutes and we're good to go. Thank you.